welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm just gonna be taking you along on a weekend of furniture sourcing, decor stuff. We're gonna go to the Brooklyn flea market today with my roommates and I'm also gonna be doing some things tomorrow. I'm picking up a bunch of stuff from Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I just wanna show you what it looks like to find stuff online or even at like flea markets things like that, and how to decorate your place for super cheap, super sustainable, and super cute. <laughs> I'm wearing this fuzzy jacket that I thrifted in Vermont. <laughs> These pants as well are hand-me-downs from my aunt, and then I have my Doc Martens. Here is the full outfit. I felt cute LMAO. I was looking to get Doc Martens just because I like the style, but I didn't want to buy them new. And I didn't want to buy the faux leather one because that's just plastic. That's not really sustainable in my eyes. So I found these on Depop. <laughs> I'm excited to bring you along with me this weekend. And yeah, let's get shopping. <laughs> end up finding the actual Brooklyn flea market that you know has all the furniture and stuff like that but we went to some other really good ones I got some cute posters that I'll show you <laughs> New York is right there ah! it's so crazy I'm on Kent Avenue which is where I used to live when I first moved here I lived with like a family member and I don't know Brooklyn I fell in love with it back then and it's just so nostalgic. We found some great stuff. I know my roommates found a lot of little cute jewelry and things like that. Um, they decided to go back home and I need to go pick up a blender right now that I found on Facebook. And yeah, I'm excited for that because I do really want to start making smoothies. Uh, this particular one also has like a food processor so I'm gonna start making hummus and doughs and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be great. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you when I pick that up and get back home because it is super freezing. Um, my hand is about to fall off <laughs> just from like vlogging this. It's so snowy today. I just feel like it's so beautiful. I am obviously layered up. <laughs> I'm like super cold. Oh, hello. So cute. That's like the ugly side of the snow where it's all dirty. But yeah, let's go. I made it to Greenpoint in Brooklyn. I have an appointment at this like 
vintage collector, I guess, of furniture, posters, and stuff like that. I also just saw that they have an ovenly right next to it, so I'm definitely gonna go um, get something from there. They have like vegan pastries, vegan cookies. So I remember being here like last year and it was a really nice vintage store that unfortunately like closed down. It's 67 Greenpoint on West Street and I remember this is a, a crazy like plant place. They have so many different plants. So I grabbed my coffee and some vegan cookies from Oven Lee and now I'm walking over. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit up that plant place after this. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, look. <laughs> Look at that view! I got this cool magazine and this 70s print. So I got this beautiful print. I honestly don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I think maybe my room or kitchen. We'll see. <laughs> I also got a old magazine, which I'm thinking of doing some kind of collage with. So that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. Definitely check their store out on Instagram. I'll have it right here. She was super nice and yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back. She finds most of these things at like estate sales or auctions. So I'm definitely gonna try to hit some things like that up because it can get pretty pricey. I'm gonna quickly check out this plant store before I head out. Um, I'm gonna be heading back home really quickly just to like Charge my phone. My phone has been super annoying lately with that. Okay, let's go. Look at all these pink leaves. Okay. So I got back home. Hair is back. I'm chilling for just like an hour. Right now I'm gonna make a snack slash brunch, breakfast, I don't know. I've had like some cookies and a coffee, but yeah, I was like straight out the door today. So right now I'm making a bagel. These are both vegan. Um, I think this is tofurkey um, Italian slices or something. And I don't remember what vegan cheese this is, but it's pretty good. I'm just gonna toast these up. Oop. Okay, I'm gonna be using some vegan mayo. Also got some spinach. Mm. I wish I had an avocado right now, but yeah. I'm really into the retro and 80s era for furniture and just decor in general. I just love the funkiness, and I think it looks really good, um, especially with just like a whole bunch of plants. I honestly want to make this place into like a little jungle, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> My number one tip for finding very cheap and free stuff is go on Facebook Marketplace. And this goes for anywhere in the world, pretty much. I think Facebook Marketplace is pretty accessible to most people. And you can literally find free stuff just by searching free stuff <laughs> near me or something like that. So for example, my couch that I recently got, got it for absolutely free. It's a beautiful leather couch and somebody just didn't want to deal with it. All I did was uh, book somebody with a truck to transport it here. Right now I'm just gonna finish eating and I'm gonna show you what I got today. I think this was pretty productive for me because I really needed to get some specific things. First of all, this was the magazine that I picked up. It has some really cool pages. Um, it was the most interesting, so that's why I picked that up. I got this cable because I recently got a projector. So now that I have this too, I'm ready to watch some movies on the projector. And I also got some ink for my new printer. It's actually not new. I also got this on Facebook Marketplace. It was, I think, 30 bucks and it's also a scanner. And also because I'm planning on starting a Depop, I just want to 
easily be able to make my labels, my vegan cookies. Then I also got this cacti succulent soil. Cause this little guy is dying. When I bought this string of pearls, I didn't even know that it was a succulent. So I was watering it way too much. So now I'm just gonna try to propagate it. Basically that would mean I take a little bit and replant it and hopefully it, I don't know, saves my plant and I could grow it a little bit more. Then I got this super cute plant from that plant place and these actually were just on the street laying with a bunch of other stuff that was just labeled as free. And yeah, I just thought these were super perfect. I think this will be perfect when I have like a nice big aloe vera plant because it's nice and wide. We have the beautiful poster that I got today. This is kind of my room right now. It's a little bit of a mess. I don't know what I'm doing yet with my room. I think my room will be last um, in line to like have the full makeover. I have this photo studio that I'm using for making videos, so that's just taking most of the space, but I still love it. It's really nice. And I feel like last year there wasn't so much snow, um, which makes me really happy to be here right now because it's just so dreamy. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera for the pickup because it's pretty straightforward. Like once you find the things on Facebook, you coordinate it with the seller, you go there and you just pay them and pick it up. And yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, back home. It's been a very tiring day. Outfit is gone, but look at this table. I am so happy with what I got today. The kitchen is looking exactly like how I want it so far. I really love the industrial look and I was looking for a table like this for a while. I finally unpacked that air fryer that we had and this is the blender that I got. So everything feels like it's just coming along. Our trash can was there originally, but I realized that we did need more space for that. I did want it there, but it's just a little narrow. That actually fits perfectly and I'm just so happy about it. Oh my god. Then I also got this poster, which I really, really love, and I just love the whole look of her third eye and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna have this hung up somewhere in the kitchen. I just wanna use this whole wall for some framed posters and pictures and art. <laughs> That was a lot, but I am so, so happy with everything that I got. I just love the idea of giving things a second chance and a second life, basically. I've noticed I've gotten out in the city a lot more and to neighborhoods that I've never been to or never thought I would go to. And I think that's part of the reason why I've loved and enjoyed doing this so much. Whenever I pick things up in a neighborhood that I've never been to, I'm just, you know, very mesmerized and looking around, wondering who lives here. Yeah, I do hope this video was kind of helpful if you're looking to furnish your place for cheap or if you're just trying to sustainably um, find things for your apartment or if you're just here for the vlog and for watching me find these things then thank you <laughs> and I'm definitely looking forward to making more of these if you guys enjoyed this let me know and then I can't wait to show you like just the final look of my apartment so if you want to stick around for that journey definitely subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post and if you want to see more of me and what I do on the daily here in New York. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Emma Papazanaki. And that's it. I am gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>